Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to be doing a battle of the canister stoves. We're going to take a look at three stoves. Your basic, cheap, five to seven dollar canister stove, which is kind of an MSR pocket rocket knockoff. The Covea Spider remote canister stove. And the Jetboil system, the Jetboil Flash in particular. So stay tuned and we're going to see how much fuel each uses to get two cups of water to a boil and how quickly they can do it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so let's take a look at what we found here in our test. So just to give you guys the numbers, and I'll put them over here on the screen for you. Um, the MSR knockoff, or the um, Fusili Amazon uh, canister stove, um, it boiled water in five minutes, 53 seconds. It started with 132 grams of fuel ended with 120 so it used 12 grams of fuel now moving on to the Covea spider uh, remote canister stove without the windscreen it boiled water in eight minutes and 32 seconds it started with 120 grams of fuel ended with 113 so it used only seven grams of fuel interestingly if you move to the Covea spider with the windscreen on it boiled water much quicker, 6 minutes and 40 seconds. But it went from 119 grams to 109 using 10 grams of fuel, which is actually more than without the windscreen. And lastly, the jet boil system really shines. It boiled water in 3 minutes and 1 second. And it took the fuel from 177 grams to 172, so only 5 grams of fuel used for the jet boil. So a little more information for you guys over here as well, just so that y'all know, because a lot of this is going to have to do with how much weight you want to carry. The lightest stove, of course, is just this little stove without the uh, fuel. I weighed everything without the fuel. I did include any carrying cases or anything that you would carry with you. This one you would carry just this little plastic case and the um, stove itself, and it weighs 114 grams or 4 ounces. Now if you move up to the Covea Spider, the Spider here, this is the carrying case. It comes with the Spider itself, it comes with a small piezo igniter, and I also included the Vargo aluminum windscreen. That weighs 233 grams or 8 and 1 quarter ounces. Lastly, of course, and the heaviest is the jet boil system. Um, this is without the fuel. It is 427 grams or 15 and 1 8 ounces for the jet boil system. So what do I think? Well, I'll tell you, obviously the jet boil 
is by far the most efficient from the standpoint of time. I'm not sure that the amount of fuel used is significantly different, um, you know, anywhere from uh, five grams up to a high of 12 grams of fuel. It makes a difference, but not the biggest difference. The biggest difference is time, all the way from three minutes all the way up to above eight minutes on the Coveya, which really surprised me. I thought that it would work a little better. Now, I do think that a taller windscreen would help, and I think I might do that video in the future. I just don't have a taller windscreen. I think that might make a difference. Also, putting a windscreen around the smaller canister stove may make a difference. I never really thought about it. Uh, and I, again, I don't have a windscreen that's tall enough for it, so that's why I didn't actually use one. But I think those are things we have to take into account when looking at these stoves. So what's the consensus? Well, you can use the most fuel for a moderate amount of time and by far the least weight by using the uh, small canister stove. You can get water to boil much faster with quite a bit more weight by using the jet boil. Like all things, uh, backpacking and ultralight and all these things, it's all personal preference. Uh, I really have gone towards using canister stoves in general more than alcohol stoves. Uh, I don't like fiddling with the alcohol. It always seems to be an issue for me. I just rather use the canisters, even though they are a little bit uh, heavier. I just tend to like them more and I try to shave weight in other areas. So that's a look at these three pretty common canister stoves, a regular canister stove, a remote canister stove, and the jet boil system, which is kind of a proprietary canister stove uh, system to make it work the best it can. One note on the Covea Spider, it is a remote canister stove that you can invert the fuel in cold situations so you won't have any problems with extreme weather conditions. So guys, I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Any comments below would be greatly appreciated. I'll answer them as soon as I can. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching Paleo Hiker MD and stay tuned for more videos soon from here on the homestead.